Hey, what's going on guys? Willis here and today we're actually got a special video for you guys today. Uh, we're going to be talking about a new action RPG called Punishing Grey Raven. It was first released in China and will actually start its open test globally so now everyone can enjoy the game. Uh, we'll be going over the event, story, pretty much all the exciting new game features in Punishing Grey Raven. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Once again, thanks to uh, Punishing Grey Raven for sponsoring this video. Be sure to leave a like on this video, guys. Let's try and reach a thousand likes. That'd be awesome. I'll be super excited to bring some more Punishing Grey Raven later this month as well. But yeah, on to the the game itself so punishing gray raven is a 3d post-apocalyptic sci-fi action rpg game with really beautiful graphics and it has this dark cyberpunk anime style which i know you guys will love uh basically the story revolves around humanity fighting back against a viral outbreak that infects humans as well as machines the machines that are infected are pretty much being made to destroy everything in their path. Now you're actually the commander of the Great Raven unit and you're basically assembling a team of heroes that are cybernetically augmented soldiers. Uh, they each have their own special ability and unique personalities so as the commandant you pretty much lead them into battle and conduct these sort of action combat missions where you basically unlock the dark truth behind the whole viral apocalypse. Punishing Grey Raven is a really cool looking game with a really fun engaging story in mankind's endless war to reclaim this sort of post-apocalyptic earth. It pretty much gives off the dark cyberpunk aesthetic but still keeps the anime style with it. The gameplay revolves around going through different stages of missions where we basically learn more about the game's story. Uh, you even get to collect all these characters through the story's events or even through the research system. Um, I think that the character designs are really unique and cool, especially since they're sort of these elite cyborgs. What's also really cool, guys, is that there are skins in the game. There are different styles of costumes and you can also buy them in the in-game store or get them pretty much through in-game events, which is super super easy to do obviously we can make our own teams and progress our characters to leveling up their skills and weapons to obviously make them all stronger all the abilities and battle mechanics in the game are really fun to play it's a little bit confusing and tricky at first but the tutorial does a actual great job at explaining how to basically manage it once you get the hang of it you can do these really cool combos and pretty much the visuals in this game are really really insane you have basic attacks and then you have your combo abilities and even your ultimate so not only do they look really cool they're really fun to play with basically there are mechanics like the dodge the parry and even tagging party members to basically extend your combos uh, there's even this really cool mechanic where you can dodge an enemy's attack and you pretty much enter this sort of like matrix mode where time slows down and you can do these insane powerful combos and i think all of that is really freaking cool the icons also really represent the abilities really well um for example here with live the blue icon has a uh cross effect so obviously it would heal um she also has these arrow red icons that are red that pop up and this is basically her laser ability each of the characters are unique and they all play very different from each other there's one that's pretty much a close range chainsaw melee character there's one that shoots lasers and heals allies uh so much more as you can see guys the abilities look really cool they're really fun especially when you get the hang of all the characters the enemies in punishing gray raven are also really fun to play against as well especially when it comes to their design you pretty much always get that robotic sort of like evil kind of feeling since most of the time you are fighting these sort of rogue androids uh hulking mechs and obviously a whole lot more you follow the epic story of these bosses until you eventually battle them in the end and the way they are designed are basically really cool the battles in this game get even more exciting when you combine it with the really futuristic and pretty much electronic soundtrack you really get immersed into the game and basically really invested in this sort of futuristic story so actually guys there's an event in the game that's currently going on basically what the event is players can select one s rank character from five choices i'm actually going to give you guys some suggestions on how to make a selection since obviously you don't want to waste such a great opportunity to get a high ranked character first of all guys you can pretty much receive this item called the s rank construct picks from the in-game mail once you claim it guys you'll basically be able to see it in the in-game storehouse 
Then from there, guys, you can choose which character you want to be included in your party from five different characters. So pretty much, guys, what I suggest you do is actually save the free choice of an s rank character for later. Try choosing one right after you get your first s rank character from the research system, which is after drawing from the system for about 40 times. Don't worry, guys, you do get the currency to get 40 draws. So if you save the free S rank, you can make a better decision on which character you want on your team's construction. Now, guys, onto the free S rank characters that you're able to choose from. I'll pretty much break down each of them for you because all of them are really cool and basically bring something unique to your party. Starting up with Lee Entropy is purely a physical uh, character he not only looks cool he has a really cool damage and skill effects in battle he's pretty much if you like suit thug or gun you can choose lee uh then we've got live luminance it's actually a really good support character and her abilities are physical uh she looks really beautiful and the design is really well made basically she's really good when it comes to long distance attacks and she can even heal herself her nirvana is the strongest damage reduction skill in the game guys and she's actually the best support for pretty much any early and mid game team uh now we've got nanami pulse she plays like a tank in your party and she has the fire attribute she's a really flexible pick and she's really cute as well nanami pretty much has the ability to reduce fire attributes resistance so you can actually deal more damage she forms a strong fire attribute for the team in the early game there's another fire attribute character called Karenina Ember and she's really good in the early game you can pretty much make a strong fire team if you wanted to and I think she has a relatively mature choice of different weapons then we've got Kamui Tan O'Brien now he's unique because he actually has a dark attribute he plays like a tank character with a higher output ability and pretty much being a tank Kamui is a really interesting character because he has unique gameplay where his skill form pretty much changes so it's going to be really fun playing him so that's pretty much all the characters, guys, when it comes to Punishing Great Raven. It's a really fun game with fun mechanics and a really good story. All the character designs is really well done. And overall, it's a solid game and fun to play. Again, guys, it's launched globally, so you can download the game right now. Be sure to use the link in the video description and obviously the pinned comment down below. Once again, thanks to Punishing Great Raven for sponsoring this video, guys.